So do you work on Fords? You like to mess with PCMs? You want me to show you how to write a VIN number on a used PCM? Well, if that's the case, this is the exact presentation for you because today I'm going to show you how to write a VIN number on a Ford used PCM module with the J2534. For those of you who don't know, welcome to the channel. My name is Curtis Harden. I'm your Autel Diagnostic Consultant. And today, this is going to be a continuation of a previous video where I said if I get over 100 likes, I'm going to share with you how to write a VIN number on a used PCM module. And I checked and I was like, wow, 146. So thanks so much for the support, guys. Um, so let's jump into the case study. We're going to be working with uh, the IM608 and we're going to be utilizing its J2534 uh, hardware. The client's in the transmission industry. He repairs transmission, but with the skill sets that he learned, he kind of uh, transformed into the a mobile programmer the vehicle is a 2001 Ford F-150 and this is what happened um it was Saturday morning guys I don't work on Saturdays okay I work a lot but not on Saturdays I need my day but I got a phone call from a client and he told me the situation and basically he couldn't find the VIN writing procedure on the uh, IM608 all right and I said well you know what let me just take a look so as I go into his tablet, the first thing I always do is, a, is a, an initial auto scan, just in case if there's something that my engineers see, I can submit a data lodging. And then from there, I am going to click programming, and then I'm going to go to programmable module installation. Now here, programmable module installation is basically a sequence where it will extract all the main ECU, the original ECU's information, and then prompt you when to put on the uh, replacement module and transfer the information over. Normally, the Autel has this feature for the PCM, all right? But for this vehicle, it's not there. Now, I consult a lot of clients and I've seen this particular event so much, I actually gave it a name, okay? So since we think in, we're, we're technicians, we think in, you know, diagnostic code, this particular code, when you're outsourcing something, I call it a TTD, all right? This stands for taking it to the dealer. All right, and I want you to think of this symptom or this event as a disease. All right, some months you're outsourcing a lot of stuff. Oh man, my TDD is kicking in. All right, and when you're doing that, you're actually hurting your business. Okay, the, the, the DTC on the left, this is a representation of your workflow, your workshop. All right, and when you get this type of event, you guys need to put a stop to it. Okay, you have the tools. You have the tools to do this and it's a mindset. There's no reason why with this tool you're taking stuff to the dealer. No reason, okay? So this is what I advised the client. I said, look, this is what we can do. You got the IM608, it has a J-Box. We'll buy a Ford subscription and then we'll use their programmable module installation with their software, all right? Everything's good, right? No, because his client was a genius and threw the main PCM away. All right, so there's no way for us to extract that information to transfer it over. So I'm being optimistic and I said, okay, you know what? Let's just see what we got here, all right? So we go in there, buy the subscription, and what you see here is actually nothing. It's just looping. The software is just looping. It's not giving us any um, option to even program it. You know, we're, we're just, basically doing the same thing okay I'm gonna speed it up for you but uh we did this for about 20 minutes and as I said it just kept on asking us to do this we weren't getting anywhere so I took you know a five minute break and I gave the client uh, a recommendation to do so I said look what I want you to do is turn off the ignition all right because when you do this it fools the OEM software that uh, the PCM is new okay there's no communication there's no power being sent to the PCM so it thinks it's like a, a blank module then after we power it the turn off the ignition we're gonna run the Ford software all right and then it's gonna bring us a prompt to enter the VIN and when that does you uh, follow the prompt enter the VIN number and then you continue to follow the the prompts to finish the programming procedure all right so that's exactly what we did. The client turned off the ignition, 
you can see here it says enter the VIN all right and once it said that we can go ahead and then enter the VIN and then um, uh, follow the procedure all right and then the next step would be is to do the tear tag information you don't need to put the the PCM part number on there you can go straight to the tear tag information and put that um, into the slot okay fast forward this and then you just follow the prompts it's gonna ask you it's gonna vary between uh, you know each vehicle but uh, I'm just gonna follow the prompts here it's gonna program it all right and then the last step is to check the VIN and then write the mileage on it which I'm gonna show you right here let's see okay so the VIN has been changed this is the original VIN and where it says odometer that's where we can write the original mileage okay and then um yeah pretty much after you do that you're done you're done um so what i want you guys to learn from today okay a if the scanner does not have the programmable module installation feature on there use forge software to complete the programming task okay sometimes our tool does not have this for forward and that's when you go to the uh, forward software number two Always try to keep the original module when replacing it with the use module. It makes life a lot easier, all right? Doing this technique where you're cutting the ignition on and off, it, it works, but not all the time, all right? It, it just depends, all right? Uh, third, to write a VIN number on a use module when the original PCM is not present, remember to turn off the ignition, then run the Ford software. Once it asks for the VIN, then you can turn the ignition on and then complete the VIN writing and programming process. And lastly, it's better to do this with a consultant. All right, think about if the client didn't have that outlet to call on a Saturday, okay? He would have he would have been screwed. You know, he would have lost business, credibility, his reputation, all right? You guys don't have to do this alone. All right, and I recommend you don't. So, with that being said, guys, that's it for this presentation. If you would like to order this tool, go to alltelltech.co.za. You have to book a consultation. I'm very busy. Once you book a consultation, I'll share with you everything that this tool can do, what it can't do, and hopefully get one in your hands, all right? So quick video, guys. With that, take care, and I'll talk to you on the next video.